Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I'm gonna uh, do a Final Cut Pro tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, sync up multiple camera angles with external audio. Now, we'll be using audio to sync all these together. And I thought this would be a really good tutorial because you know, this would be something a lot of uh, YouTubers and stuff use. So let's go over here to Final Cut Pro and the computer and I'll show you how to do all this. Okay, everyone. Well, I've already got three files imported here. Now let me zoom in so we can take a look at these. First, I have external audio. Now this is the audio I recorded through my uh, Scarlett 2i2 audio interface which is also going through my Audio-Technica AT2035 microphone. So this is going to give us the real good audio quality. And this is what a lot of folks do when they're not actually inputted into the camera. But if you are inputting yours into the camera, then you just overlook this audio file. Uh, this is just how I particularly do it. But if you're inputting your high quality audio into your camera, then just use that whatever camera you're using for your audio equipment, you know, as your uh, main audio source. But, now we have another uh, camera here. Well, actually, just a camera. And this is camera A. This would be my angle one. And this would be my second angle. You know, more zoomed in off to the side. Okay. Now, if we look at our external audio here, we'll notice three little peaks. Now, these little peaks you'll see are on every one of my files here. You know, you can notice with the peaking out of the yellow and the red here. And, of course, here in uh, camera angle B, too. Now, we'll be using those to kind of help sync our audio. But there's going to be something we need to do just first. Now, if we go over here, let's click on camera A. And we notice we go over here into the side and it says real EOS digital and camera name EOS digital. We need to rename these. Now, if you go up to the top here a little bit, you notice I've already had camera uh, A already named. Now, camera A and camera B are both Canon uh DSLR cameras I used to record my test footage with. Now, if we uh, go ahead and actually go ahead and create our multicam clip now, the Final Cut Pro will get kind of confused and will actually only show one of the clips because they're all named the same first camera name and real. So, to keep anything being confusing here, let's go ahead and name that camera A. And of course, camera name also camera A. That way, when we see anything, we we're not getting confused. Okay. So we get that one done. We need to go over here and click on camera B and go ahead and do the same thing also. Go ahead and just put in there camera B. And this all makes sense here in just a little bit when we get over here and start combining these clips. Okay. That way there's no confusion whatsoever which one's camera A and which one's camera B. Okay. Now the combine these since we got that done it's fairly simple here we wanted to select all three of these and go down to new multicam clip now you want to use multicam clip here because we have multiple camera angles now on my previous tutorial I showed you how to sync audio to video up together and you can use just synchronized clips for that however that kind of combines everything and is not meant for multiple camera angles so if you're using multiple camera angles or even just multiple audio angles, you may want to consider this with new multi-cam clip, especially if you'll be switching between those angles. So go ahead and click on that. And we notice we have a little dialog box uh, pop up here. And I'm just going to name this one Tutorial. Multi-cam clip. Go ahead and click OK. And let that create that one for me. OK. And you'll notice already we got a camera A, camera B, and an external audio file listed here. Let me zoom back out. And it's already hi highlighted here. So let's go ahead and drag this one down to our timeline. Okay, and let's zoom in right here. Now, we notice we can right click on it and go down. We can choose our video angles and also choose our audio angles here. Now, I'm going to go down and click on external audio because that's the audio that we want to use. Also, you'll notice these three little peaks right here. So, you'll notice when I sc uh, scroll over here, you can see it in the uh, preview up here at the top that I'm clapping at the same time. Now, a lot of people have asked me, do you really have to do the three claps? No, you don't. 
you can do anything you want to, and maybe Final Cut Pro will sync up correctly for you. Maybe it won't. That's really, you know, up to you if you want to do that. Now, I do it each time because Final Cut Pro will see those three individual peaks plus a few seconds of extra uh, silence afterwards so I can get a noise floor and you know, fine-tune my audio. But it will see those, and it pretty much considers it like an insurance policy. It will see those because they dis they're distinctive from anything else in the rest of the audio files. So if the rest of the audio is doing this right here, it will see those three big peaks and know, hey, that's where it should sync up together. And so that's what I use. Do you have to use it? No, but I consider it an insurance policy. Before I started doing that, I did have quite a few times where it missed the uh, actual sync. It was a little off. But since I've started doing that three clap method, I've not had an issue. I'm not saying nobody else won't, but I'm saying it really does help uh, improve your audio sync uh, accuracy rate. Okay, so let's get back in here into the computer. Uh, now you can see I got my three clips. Now after you've got those three uh, hand clips, whatever, and you're a little bit of silence, you don't need that in your video no more. So you can simply just go down here, let me zoom in one, and to the point where you're done with that, and just kind of just cut it there and get rid of it. Okay, now once you've got that cut, you don't need that in your file no more. It's done, it's did its purpose. Let me go here to the end here, kind of trim back a little bit. Okay. So let's go over here and kind of look at it. And you notice while we're uh, scrolling across here, you can see camera A and camera B both being previewed at the top. So you can kind of choose when you want to actual have it flip over. So if I say about right here, if I wanted to say, let's just sink it in right. Cut a blade here and scroll over just a little bit. Yeah, you know, I can put it right the area right there. You can see here. I can then go down and active video angle angle, change that to camera B. I'll zoom in so you can see camera B. So now when we right click on that, we get audio angle is the external audio and video angle as camera B. So we'll zoom back out here. And you can see when I flip it and zoom in and make see me making funny weird faces. <laughs> Alright, so it goes back here. And you can see about right here I talk about flipping over to the other angle. You can see here. And change that one to the video angle B2. And to make things a little more trans, a uh, little transition effect here, and we can get an idea of what's going on here. Okay, that'll be enough. Let me turn up my volume. At least for the tutorial. Now, the reason of the three claps. Well, actually, is it doesn't think, think the volume's playing here, whatsoever. B, but you can see that's how to do the multicam angles and stuff. Through Final Cut. And this is really what I'm doing while I'm for this particular tutorial. This is how I'm switching between my camera I got sitting on my desk here and my desktop. So the same thing I'm teaching about right here is exactly what I'm doing right now for this video as well. But anyway, like I said, it's really simple to do multiple camera angles. So if anybody's got any questions or anything I might have missed, just put the comments down, uh, down below and I'll try to answer them. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. It's, it's really simple, real easy, and a lot of people keep asking me, how do you do this? Well, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on it in Final Cut Pro and show everybody. So anyway, that's it for the tutorial. If you found it helpful, if you liked this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is for you. It's free. Unless you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.